to get the boys more involved with helping out in the garden, I made up a game of pirates hiding treasure in caskets in the cemetery. We were also collecting gold bars in a mine and stocking our pirate ship with loot and meat. It was a fun and creative way to get the work done a bit faster and keep the boys entertained and happy. It's pretty awesome! Look at this! Look at this gold! That's meat, that's not gold. Meat! Look at this meat that we got for our pirate ship. The pirates eat a lot of meat. The pirate ship is broken. Maybe. That's our first ingredient to the pirate ship. It's broken. This is a rotten part of the meat, so let's throw it away. Let's throw it in the garden bed. Okay. The worms like it. The boys helped me to fill up this garden bed with all this debris. Yes. So I don't have to put so much salt. But we did it as a game. We did that we were we were actually making a pirate ship. This is easy because it has this wooden rim, but the other one, if you do this, it breaks in <laughs> two. This wheelbarrow is so heavy. Even when it's empty, it's heavy. I cannot lift it. It's probably like 20 kilos. I'm filling up this garden bed with everything that I can get my hands on. All kind of debris, so that I don't have to put so much of that board soil. Because I'm running out, I have to go and buy some more. This is almost decomposed, so it's, it's a pretty nice one. It's done, it's done, it's done. Yeah, it's but done. that, that uh, boat there is not done. That boat needs to be filled up with some meat as well. Tiny spade. Mom, what's a spade? This is a shovel and this is a spade. The spade is for lifting sand and it's flat here and the shovel is for digging. And it's sharp there. And now in the second compartment, th these garden beds are really bad, these, these round ones, they just don't hold together at all. This is where I'm going to plant the corn, in this square, and the grass is so grown already. Here is the corn again, patiently waiting to be planted, like last year. Hard. I cannot even step with all my weight on it. So difficult to get this out. This fork doesn't go into this ground at all. I just wanted to remove this top layer here so that I can put some good soil on top for the corn. Luckily, it's not very hot. It's only six in the morning. Gardening is hard work. I'm still working on this corn bed. 
<laughs> it's a very slow progress. I think I just, I'm just gonna pour some good soil here in two mounds and make two lines of corn. And then I'm gonna have beans there. But let's see, I, the corns are waiting there to be planted again. I don't wanna do the same mistake as last year when I didn't find time to plant them. Whoa, I'm sweating. <laughs> that was extremely hard work. I think it's time to go swimming in the lake now. Wow, look at the amount of frog babies here eating on this. Wow, it's amazing. They're huge. And there's a small fishes are preying on them. They're eating there. I made these two garden beds to put the corn, but one is a little broader as you can see. Because I was thinking of putting the beans here on the side. Chicken caca. This is chicken caca. This is chicken caca, Nemo. I only have 18 corns and they are probably quite root bound I can imagine yeah I should have planted them a long time ago 
Look, it's it's very root bound already, so I hope it recovers. I'm gonna plant them around 30 centimeters apart. There's one that has broken a little, so I would put it somewhere here in the middle. Maybe it's more safe there. Yay! I finally, finally, finally got the corn in the ground. I didn't have to throw them out this year, but they were a little bit root bound. But it looks something like this. It's basically not in one row because it has like a zigzag, so it's like two rows, but I guess you can plant them even closer to each other. But this is what I decided to do now. And in the middle, I put some hay here to suppress the weeds. But now I could do some beans there, but I'm not sure if I will do that. I also have that extra garden bed <laughs> there. I could just add some soil on top and put the beans there. Maybe some, some wall would be good there too, because there's this, this old pole is there and there's another one here. So I could do like a mesh or something for the beans. Here are some of the plants that doesn't have a home yet. I will put these white zucchinis, I will put them together with the corn. So I think that will work very well. And then I still have one bush baby and one corcozelle here. And then one pumpkin and two of these butter, butter, what is it called? <laughs> butternut squashes or butternut pumpkins. They are growing here together. I didn't dare to remove them. It's a murky and cold morning here at Siskola. I have been filling up these garden beds with lots of different debris. And uh, this I think I will leave like this because there's going to be tomatoes there. So I will have to put a lot of nice fresh soil. And here, this is the garden bed I think that gets most shade because there is actually a lot of trees there. So here I will put more peas because I want to have lots of peas this year and then some spinach as well. Then I still have this really big garden bed here and I have still a couple of pumpkins. I have a butternut squash. I have a pair of zucchinis. I have to figure out where to put everything. One pumpkin is growing here already. So it would be nice to put one here next to this pole. The corn, there's a little bit space here. Maybe I can put here a zucchini, maybe there. And one maybe on that other garden bed. I have a couple of white zucchinis that I still want to put here. It 
the soil is not very deep, there's the, the clay underneath. It's almost like the three sisters, but not quite. <laughs> Zucchini, corn, and then there will be the beans in the back. So they're not really growing together. <laughs> I finally found this pink lemonade uh, blueberry bush online because uh, I really wanted this variety because they are pink blueberries and they're very sweet but uh, I had to buy two bushes because the only place that I could find that actually sold this variety had you have to buy it in a set but blueberry needs to be planted together so that's why I wanted another blueberry bush but I feel a little bit ripped off because <laughs> look at the size of this this is so tiny I don't know. I feel like this is just like the smallest blueberry bush I have ever seen. Because this is a bush blueberry. This looks like the one in the forest. <laughs> we are planting our tiny, tiny blueberries. We have this rhododendron soil that Nico is putting a little more. You can put it all. Let's just put it all. Because they like the acidic soil, the blueberries. And now we put the blueberry bush in the middle. We put the pink lemonade here. And then we put this one, which is the something blue. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Let's put this one here. But it's so tiny. Tiny, tiny blueberry bushes. And they are root bound so much. What I really wanted was this bush. This is called pink lemonade. It's completely pink. Pink and sweet. I want blueberry pink. bush. Now we're gonna put it here. Pink lemonade is something I can expect. I cannot expect it, so we have to say that. That's it. That's the Patriot. <laughs> it's much bigger. And then two of the really tiny ones. And we put some mulch on them. Hopefully we get some blueberries next year. Twenty more bags from Forza, and the tires are very flat from all the weight. Look at this dirt; it's raining. I think I will just take them immediately to the garden. so heavy I can only take two bags at a time so I have to do ten trips
Thank you for watching. See you next time.